How do you measure the ROI of AI initiatives? Well, this is a question a lot of CFOs and boards, boardrooms are asking. You know, AI sounds cool, but someone's got to ask, is it worth the money? And that's where ROI or return on investment comes in. And measuring it isn't just about model accuracy. It's about impact on the business. So usually the way you want to approach this is by first and foremost defining the baseline. What is the current process cost you know, in terms of time, in terms of money, in terms of error rates? Get that baseline or what we call the before picture well defined. Then you want to set clear AI goals. Are you trying to save time? Are you trying to reduce errors? Are you trying to boost revenue? Are you trying to increase customer retention? Pick your measurable outcomes. As you move further along, you want to track the deltas. After deploying AI, what changed? Did the, for example, call center costs drop? Did fraud detection improve? Did sales go up? And then in step four, you don't want to forget the hidden costs. Training time, data collection, you've got compute, ongoing maintenance, they're all part of that overall ROI cost factor. So include those in the equation. I think finally, look beyond money. AI can also deliver value through speed, through scalability, and certainly through better decision-making. These are more sort of the qualifiable value equations that exist, and they're certainly harder to measure. So yes, measuring AI ROI is part of finance, or has some components associated with finance. There's a level of impact that needs to be measured, that needs to be analyzed. So if your AI doesn't move the needle on those real-world metrics, well, at the end of the day, it's just going to be a bunch of uh, expensive math.